Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Ishin trash can. Uh, you may already have heard this name before. This is uh, really popular nowadays and it's kind of a best whoop for money. Brushless whoop that is because this thing does 2S lipo and it's kind of the best bang for your buck let's say that way so it comes with a nice manual it shows you all the steps how to bind it how to configure the vtx frequencies how to flash bl heli on your escs and things like that uh, so everything is there it shows you how to set up uh, beta flight clean flight or whatever you want to use and that's very nice for especially for a starter you get a nice pack with accessories here, a screwdriver, an XT30 connector, you get double-sided tape, you get foam tape, you get this small uh, loop wire uh, for running 1S if you want to, uh, instead of 2S, making it more docile, and I'm going to show you how to use that wire, so I'm going to take it out of the bag, right, so I'm putting it here. And beside that you also get keys, some spare screws, so it's really nice for a starter, you get everything that you need, even if you crash it, you have most of the things here that you can use to repair it, including spare props. And in the box you also are going to get not one, not two, but actually four lipos, and each lipo is rated for 40C to 80C, uh, high voltage and there are 300 milliamps capacity cells so um, I don't know if they are going to last very long but they are decent to start with and of course you are need uh, you are going to get a lot more of this in a short time you're also going to get this lipo charger which actually from my point of view this thing is kind of a joke it's not protected in any way it's just a exposed pcb with a small switch on it and it has two type of plugs and that's all i don't like it uh, on the ishin uk 65 us 65 if you remember uh, also had a review for it you can see it somewhere here uh, that one had a really nice charger a big one uh, that can be supplied with regular voltage from a power adapter you can use the larger lipo it has six different plugs you can switch charging current you can switch to normal lipo high voltage lipo and that was safe because it was all contained in a plastic casing not like this one exposed to the environment waiting for trouble to happen so at least maybe i'm going to use a, some heat shrink over this to protect it from short circuits and accidents and last but not least here is the uh, trash can which actually looks rather nice and hopefully this thing should last for a bit of time mine came a bit uh, crashed up from the transport as you can see from the marks here um, it's not the problem with the boxing or the quad or the bundle itself. I had some issues with the local post office, which lost my package for a few weeks, but uh, miraculously they managed to find it, to locate it and to bring it back to me. And I'm going to give them credit for that. Even if they lost it, they did found it and they did return it, which was really nice of them. So. I did get this but it was storage somewhere else with a lot of big packages and got a bit crushed but hopefully nothing is wrong with this so hopefully also it will fly nicely construction wise it looks like a regular whoop uh, only that it has this pcb with leds on it so from my point of view that is a breakage point that may not last very long and I also don't like the USB connector which is soldered right under the battery tray and when you actually put a battery inside the battery will rest on that micro USB connector there so uh, if you put two batteries for 2S whooping uh, the batteries will just rest on that connector and if you hit this on the ground very hard uh, the batteries may actually uh, rip the connector from uh, the PCB so you may take some caution with that 
I may add some foam around it or something like that or even some hot glue or something just to reinforce it and not break it off. Otherwise it looks really nice. Here is the Emacs Tiny Hawk. So they are roughly the same size. This is a 1S only whoop. This works with 1S and 2S. And the best of it is the fact that you don't have to change anything. So if you want to wish, if you want to actually run 2S, you just plug two batteries and it has this two connector here the connectors are wired in series like that and you are going to plug battery one and then battery two and you are ready for 2s fun if you want to run this slower and train with it learn to fly with it then you can use only one battery and this loop wire here so instead of one battery you are going to loop it and then just connect the one s battery and there you go you have a one s lipo whoop which will fly actually really nice and it will not be that fast and it will be easier to control right so those are the goodies let's see something else and I'm going actually to show you something else really interesting so this thing also works with the battery from the Emacs which fits really nice this is higher capacity and I'm going to plug that battery in alright and the trash can has a nice uh, FR Sky receiver that has telemetry on it and you can actually see the voltage of the LiPo, you can see the signal of the uh, receiver, uh, you can see the current and this fuel as it uses milliamps from the battery. And if I arm this, and it's now armed, you can see the current draw here. And the whoop flying from my table. So that's really nice uh, so you have kind of a backup uh, you can use the OSD in your goggles but you can also see it on your transmitter and this thing has feedback uh, such as low signal strength or things like that which is really nice because it gives you more details so I'm now going to plug this on let's see how the video looks all right and device is now connected look at that really nice really sharp and clear not the best fpv footage i have seen until now but from such a small quadcopter i must say that it looks amazing so it has really nice color it's sharp so it's really good let me try to record this and now i'm recording this footage hopefully it will be available to be added to my video so there you go there's the tiny hog there's my fr sky transmitter here's the bag there's the batteries of course there's no lag but using this type of receiver brings a bit of lag between it and the screen of my mobile phone nonetheless it's a good thing to have and use right so i'm going to stop the recording now and that was it for now i'm now going to charge up the batteries take this thing for some uh, flights another nice feature is the osd control mode and you can use the transmitter to set up profiles such as pad profiles and you have three predefined profiles for the aggressivity of uh, your flight and if you are flying in uh, level mode or angle mode or things like that you can make three profiles which you can dictate how much the quadcopter will uh, pitch and that makes it nice for training uh, you can make it slower faster and the fastest so that's really nice you can of course adjust the PIDs and a lot of stuff from here and you from futures you can uh, check the black box you can adjust the vtx power you can control the light strip so there's plenty of stuff here and of course you can exit reboot and things like that and it's a nice feature because you don't always carry your uh, pc with you to 
tweak this on the field and I think that I'm going to end this as a part one of my video and uh, use a second part for the flight test with indoor test and outdoor fl flight test because this thing is getting too long so until the flight tests uh, be sure to follow my next uploads and see you then bye bye